Hello my friends, in this video I gonna show you how to create Honey simulation with C4D, Redshift and Realflow. So jump in C4D. First of all we need to create some rocks or stones. One of them I got from Quixel and as a stone I'm going to do procedural. They pretty default for Quixel and I rotate it a bit. Nice. Next step will be add Redshift camera in our scene. So pass a good, tag protection, then we avoid accidents. Press and D and add a plane in scene. In the plane increase white, height and number of segments. Very good. Call it BG. Press Ctrl and grab band. In the band I changed some parameters and got something like that. Alright. Now we need to create procedural stone. For this I add in scene simple sphere and change its radius. I think 150 will be enough. Further, let me increase number of segments and change its type to hexahedron. Looking good. Next, we can add in our scene volume builder and volume mesher. The voxel size set to and also increase adaptive a bit. Then we can go to the deformers and choose displacer former for our sphere. In displacer choose noise shader and change its parameters. For example, type of noise, height, global scale and other as you like. Log clip may be height a bit more. Literally all you can get. Finally we have got something like that. It's enough for this sphere. Next, our step will be add smoothing deformer for that sphere. Let me change stiffness a bit. I don't know. I guess that 75 will be nice in our case. Ok. Next, we can connect objects for sphere and delete it. We can call it sphere big. So far so good. Add one more simple sphere with same parameters in scene. Change position, increase segments, hexahedron and scale a bit for example. Go to deformers, global scale, set height, maybe to 63, I don't know, moving stiffness 75. Ok, looking good. Add this sphere to the volume builder and let me call it sphere small. And for small sphere we can set it small to subtract. Boom! Magic is happening. Also we can set the voxel size to 1 and change spheres position a bit by y coordinates. Add to our builder SDF smooth. This voxel distance set to 1. Also we can change radius for small sphere that to make everything look more natural.
Next step will be one pretty essential thing. Increase a bit more adaptive. Right. Connect object and delete. Call it sphere and we need get some light in our scene. For that go to redshift lights and choose dome light. Change intensity to 0 0.5 for example and probably I will change color a bit maybe that rather get area light move it to position change size okay maybe intensity and this moment let me do one interesting thing go to the redshift setting color controls mode on and got some curve now we are having more juicy view Next, we can add material for sphere. Edge of material, call it sphere. Apply to sphere, open node editor. Press C and add max and noise, ramp, color correct, color layer, bump, and displacement. As you see, will be used pretty interesting solve. Connect nodes together. First of all, I increase overall scale and change color a bit in maximum noise. In the ramp, I also change color and make the borders some significant. In color layer, let me use max and noise in edge mode. One more max and noise in the edge mode. We can get more transparency. It means uh, as a mask. Okay. I am playing with noises a bit more. I think it will be enough. In the color correct, we can change gamma and contrast. Further, let me make some bump. For that, I need copy noise and color layer or add there. Here, I go in pretty similar actions with these nodes. Very good. We've got some bump. And what about displacement? In displacement we can connect same ramp from the arrow bump. You shouldn't forget use stretch of tech and objects for displacement and more subdivided geometry as you know. Very good. Next steps will be pretty exciting. We can add real flow scene. In a meter, let me change his speed and randoms a bit. Also his position I can change too. It's working. Great. Now we can go to fluid and set our numbers. Change resolution and viscosity. In a meter decrease his size a bit more. Now I add helix as a possible meter. Set new data for start radius and radius and height. Rotate helix and move it by position as you wish. Ok, something like that. A bit more rotate. Nice. Add take a line to pass to a meter and set spline pass as helix. 
Now animate the meter by position. So far so good. Further, we can transform a meter's animation in liner type. Press play. And it's still working. Beautiful. Next step, add measure and redshift material in our scene. Run redshift and review. It's pretty simple, I show you. In material, we can change IOR, transmission color and weight. Extra roughness a bit. Depth. Scatter color and other. Codes of my color I take from my recent project, but you can take anything else, you know. Also increase number of samples. And finally I change subsurface values. Voila. We've got a honey. Well, I hope it was useful. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.